All right, we rolling. All right, we gonna try this out. Listen, y'all, I haven't done this in a while. Or I haven't done this. I haven't been doing this right, so I'm gonna make sure I do this right. So listen, man, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Jay Jones. Appreciate you for checking out the channel, checking out my videos. Man, I gotta step my game up. And this is my admittance to being a, uh, a video and photo hoarder. I'm a footage hoarder, and I have to realize it. And I'm going to tell you this story, or talk about this, while I'm eating some Chick-fil-A. Let's see what's in the bag. They give me a couple napkins. Listen, I like Chick-fil-A because they hook you up without having to ask to be hooked up. Listen, so I asked for Chick-fil-A sauce and ranch. Normally, places give you one sauce, and then they'd be like, it's going to be $400 for extra. And you're like, okay, I'll pay it. But it's Chick-fil-A sauce to hook me up with two of them. The ranches to hook me up with two of them. So, yeah, I'm very happy about that. These waffle fries, always nice and warm. Mm. Just fresh. And then... Go back for the sandwich. What? I got the chicken sandwich. The fried chicken sandwich with Kobe Jack cheese added to it. And it's amazing lemonade. Oh, if you don't know, you better learn about it. So listen, y'all. I gotta talk about me being sorry. I wanna talk about me being a footage hoarder. Take these off. Shout out to my to my homies. She shady. Shout out to Cha Cha. The owner. The 15-year-old owner of She Shady. Hooked me up with my own very own special. He confident glasses. You I named these. The He Confidence. You feel me? CIE. Based off my confidence is everything. You know, He Confidence. Uh, so hoping to make a collaboration with them. Look out for that line coming soon, fellas. <laughs> You feel me? That confident look. All right, so we're going to put those down. So, I don't know when, but I know I realized it. I realized it after I heard somebody call their friend out for being a footage hoarder. I was like, that's what I am. So at first it was funny. Like, oh, wow. They're calling out their friend. I like to put my, uh, so I like to put my Chick-fil-A sauce and a little ranch on my sandwich. I just think it make it taste better. <clears throat> then a trick, since I don't have a knife, you fold the bun both ways so it spread the sauce all over. That's a free one, boys and girls. Food Jones foodie tip, a foodie trick. That's a foodie hack. We don't have all the proper utensils. Dip of frying some ranch. Or dip of frying this Chick fil A sauce. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. But I realized I was a footage hoarder when I heard an associate of mine call their friend a footage hoarder. I was like, wow. That's funny. I was like, but I'll do that. And I used to post on a regular daily on Instagram multiple times a day. And then I just slowed down. I was just like, I don't know. I want to share stuff differently. I've just been trying to figure out a different way to share stuff. Different timing. You know, managing that better. Instead of just constantly chasing. I didn't want to turn to where I was chasing a like. Like, oh, let me post it this time. I mean, which could be smart depending on, you know, your business. What you posting, you know. How you post your strategy. It's just me posting my full post. Or previous day post or sometimes not really fully being able to enjoy the moment because I'm taking a picture or a video and then trying to post and come up with a quick witty smart or well, you know my amazing captions so I was like you know let me just slow down and then it got to the points where I stopped posting as much but I have all this footage so now I have footage like this is my real admittance <laughs> my real reason for doing this video to motivate myself to edit my other videos to post them because I have multiple videos from trips that me and my fiance took to 
short vlogs that I did stuff on. I just got to step my game up on my YouTube. So this is kind of my video to help me. So this is the one that's going to start it off. I'm going to post this, but I've by the time this is posted, this is going to be a quick edit. I had also edited some other videos, hopefully three or four, and then get those up. So then I can get my consistency back going uh, with posting videos or to establish some kind of strong consistency with posting videos on my YouTube weekly. Whether it's once or twice a week, but I just want to stack up some. Because hmm. I've been slacking. I'm going to try not to smack, but no promises. So, that's really my whole point for making this video. Motivate myself to admit, uh-oh, guess what? Self-awareness. I'm not perfect. I'm a footage hoarder. I have a lot of pictures, a lot of videos. <laughs> my videos I need to edit. I got a great tip for one of my fellow YouTubers. Shout out to d -Boy. What is up, everybody? It's your girl D. Welcome back to another day oh, in the life. Hey. She said, Will you shoot something? So if I shoot something today, Throw it into iMovie because I shoot and edit on my phone. Throw it in the iMovie and then edit some tonight. It don't got to be the full edit, but edit some. Like, I know I'm not going to use that. I know I'm going to do this here. I'm going to do I'm going to do that. Boom, boom, boom. Hit up some little stuff and do it for like 30 minutes, maybe an hour, depending on how much time I want to take or how much time I have. So then when I sit down to be like, all right, now I'm about to fully edit and finish this video, it's pretty much done. And that's a very good tip for just, I think, anything in life. Like, do a little work ahead so that when it gets down to you to really, you know, have to do the final thing, it's like, oh, I don't have to do that much. Versus not doing anything, gathering all this stuff, and then being like, oh, my God, I got to do all of this. So that's the new strategy I'm going to take with this for editing and posting videos. Example, me and Nani took a trip to Dallas for a friend's engagement party. I think I got about three hours of footage. I loaded it up. I have not edited it. <laughs> so I want to get those things up. That's a cool little travel vlog. So I just want to get all this stuff done and get it up to share my adventures, my opinions, my experiences with people that, you know, can't be there with me, want to be there with me, or people that just want to know what it's like to experience these certain things. So. This sandwich is amazing. Mm -mm. Chick-fil-A is just, man, no words. As a foodie, I really just appreciate and respect their efforts and hard work. I wish the location I just went to in Mesa, over here by Riverview Park. Which I'll show you out of view. First of all, they had three people out there walking. As cars were rolling up. I was about to stop. They're like, oh, you don't really have to stop. Just pay attention in front of you. They got us rolling, slow rolling. While she gave me the menu, I stopped where I got the menu so I can read it, of course. And then I'm like, okay. She's like, oh, you can, you know, this car in front of me. It's plenty of room, so I'm rolling. It's like three car, three car length. I'm rolling. Giving her my order as we're slow rolling. And she's like, okay. And she just own it. Her and these other two girls, own it, own it, own it. Of course, they had cars stop, you know, to get the order and take payment and film. But just the fact you walking while I'm slowly driving and you taking my order with all these manners and appreciation. For my presence at your business and then she's like all right and payment's gonna be at the i'm like oh yeah second window or first window <laughs> not this red umbrella umbrella at the umbrella we pull up i get there and the girl's like hey johnny i said oh they knew me i mean i am you know 
<laughs> you know, I'm rocking my heat confidence at the time. I'm like, well, you know, maybe they recognize me from somewhere. No, nah, man, they just, that communication is just so tight. I said, hey, little girl who I don't know her name. Appreciate you, though. Gave her my card. Boom, boom, boom. Gave her my cash app card. Because I got that boost on there. You get 10% off Chick-fil-A. Ha <laughs> ha. Another foodie act. Gave my receipt real smooth. Have a nice day, Johnny. I appreciate that. You do the same. And then... Get up there, you have cones out, it's like delivery zone. I'm like, okay. You have a person standing outside of the window, making sure everybody's order is right, on time, and then she turned around, and she's like, hey, Johnny, here's your lemonade. Listen, I'm moving in. Everybody wanna go, somebody know their name. And they got good chicken and lemonade, with waffle fries and then sauces. Play no game. You feel me? Listen, man. Got my food. Hook me up. And everything is on point. I was like, I'm over here by Mesa Riverview. Haven't been here in a while since so they renovated. It looks beautiful. So, I'm going to finish this. I'm gonna finish my lunch. I'm gonna finish my day at work. And then I'm gonna go at it. That's how that works. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all for tuning in and rocking. Listen, man, y'all can catch me on Let's Do Lunch. It's my podcast slash radio show on the Support District Radio Network. Go to myradiofinish.com, supportdistrictradio.com, or download the free app, iTunes, Google Play. And just hit that My Radio Phoenix button. You got me on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 12 to 2. Excuse me. I'm working on some new things to have more video content for y'all so it's not just audio. Um, what else? There's a lot going on. Just keep checking the channel. We have more videos coming. Appreciate y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know what it is, man. Y'all know what I say. C-I-E. Yeah, that's my movement. Confidence is everything. Make sure you have it as a part of your foundation. Believe in yourself before anybody else. Don't fake it till you make it. Really, really, really genuinely believe that you're great. Other people will see it as soon as you see it in yourself. And y'all know what I say, man. Keep your ears to the streets. Your eyes on your homies. Your heart with God. You'll never go wrong. Jay Jones, man, I'm out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.